All right, hello everyone. My name is Satan. Welcome back to my Pokemon World Kaizo playthrough. And uh, we are still here, stuck with this Archie fight. You know, we got here last time, but we haven't been able to defeat him yet. Uh, I've been doing a lot of, you know, kind of test runs uh, off screen with him to see if there's a way. And well, there is a way with this team, but you know, it's really tough. Uh, with grinding, I would get it done probably with more ease. But you know, we're not here to watch me breeze through this game too easily. We're here to watch me suffer. <laughs> but uh, what I'm gonna do here is, you know, I'm gonna start with the fight. And I'm gonna keep on trying as long as it takes. I have decided that I will get it done on this episode no matter how long it takes. Because, you know, for, lucky for you, I can just edit out. Uh, all the mistakes and all that good jazz, so you get to see just a successful run. At least I hope so. But yeah, I mean, I don't have much of a... I have a little bit of strat, and this whole thing begins so that we actually need a critical hit with Flash, because as long as we can't get the critical hit, uh, we can't win, because... Okay, well, well, let's go in, and you will see. Uh, we get the same cutscene that we did actually last time, so let's just... Freeze through it real quickly. Once we're in the fight, actually, itself, I will explain a little bit about this fight. Alright, so, as we know, Archie begins with Raikou and Suikun. And these guys are just way too tough for us. They are way too strong. Only way we can get through the first batch of the match is that we hit the critical hit with Crash Crow from Flash against the Trico, and it goes down in one hit. If it doesn't, it's an immediate reset. So, first thing first, I'm gonna start, you know, trying to get that crit. And once I get that, we will progress. So, you know, <laughs> for you, it hopefully will be just a short moment, but for me, it might take a long time. But without further ado, I'll just begin, you know, my attacks and see what happens. Alright, there's the critical hit that we've been waiting. Didn't actually took that many tries, honestly. Got through okay. Alright, and the next step is that actually the enemy summons the Quilfish. Now I don't remember if that's the ideal thing that happens here. But uh next thing is to handle the Squicoon, of course, so I'm not actually one hundred sure how this fight is gonna go from here on out. I, I, as, as I said, I don't have like a super specific strategy. It is just that I get those legendary dogs out of the way first thing first and then start to handle with the rest of the teams. Well, okay, so honestly, I think it's just best to leave play this week soon and slacking will be loafing off anyway this turn. So let's just see that what happens. Ah, oh, yes, the gunk shot comes in from the quillfish here. Just one shot, this is the I think it just because this quillfish is actually really freaking strong, like you wouldn't even believe it. Uh, but uh, I know that Espe has a chance to one-shot this Quillfish, so I will have to give a shot to that. Flas is looking around, so we can use Hydro Pump against the Flas, which is a lot of damage, but Flas can take it. Or, okay, it's not a crit, yeah. It just does a lot of damage because of the rain and all, that, that, that good chance. So Quillfish is kind of a thing that can outspeed everything on the field, so that's why we want to get rid of it as fast as possible. Let's see if I can get a hit against Sugan with Flash, or will the Quillfish finish the Flash off actually here? Okay, does finish it off. Oh wait! I remember now what should have probably done. Yes, okay, just a moment, I have to reset this fight. I will get to you once I'm back where I last left off. Alright, so actually... I will think this a moment, because... Uh, Will fish will we'll use a poison move, but it will attack the. Yeah, I'll just uh, do this. So Sasudera goes down with the gunk shot. That's okay. I will predict the another gunk shot the next turn against Flash. So I can switch out to Tony, who is immune to that attack. Because I don't want the uh, Flash to die yet. He can take some damage. That's fine. This Quillfish, I think, 
probably is the only thing with the Swift Swim on the enemy's team, so after we would get rid of it... Man, it gets with red HP though, that's annoying. After we would get rid of this Quillfish, there would be a chance to outspeed something with Flash and get some damage in. I'll do this because I hope Swigun attacks Tony. Aha! Well, that's fine as well. I mean, because, you know, the main point was anyway that I just get the class out of the way of the damage. Just thinking a little bit that who is the best option to get in now. Because I don't know who that Swigun is planning to attack. Let's see if it attacks Espe. Did you use a hidden power? I think that's gonna go against Espe. Oh wait, okay, that's pretty good. I don't know what hidden power that is, but it's something that Kushina resists. It's been a while since I last, you know, tried this match. It's been like a couple of days, so I can't honestly remember all the details from this one. So that's why, if you're wondering how can't I remember this, even though I've been trying this a lot. It's because it's been a little while, but yes, that Quillfish was actually one of the biggest issues on this enemy's team. So now that we've gotten rid of that, it's gonna help out us a lot. Now, I believe I have to get rid of the Suicune as fast as possible. It might Hydro Pump the Kushina to kill it, which, you know, is kind of... ...nothing too surprising. And against this Metacross, there's not really, like, super much that I can do. I think Suicune outspeeds the Kushina, so Hydro Pump can hit us. I will try to confuse, for example, or... I'll just overheat the Metacross. Okay, pushing out speed, so let's just get some free damage in before we go down. Oh, that was actually surprisingly good damage, you know, thinking that it's weak and in the rain and all. Hopefully you attack the Kushina, yeah, that was what I was hoping for. Now, I don't know, I don't remember did the Metacross outspeed S, but it has an Earthquake. So, you know, it will be a lot of damage. Oh, wait, I had the Flash alive as well, but I will get the Samehara in as well now, because he's really sturdy. He can heal himself with the rain, this. Ah, he went with the Earth Power against Samehara. That's actually pretty good, because now Espe, you know, stays alive with good HP. We still have use for Espe in this fight, so it's important that he would stay alive. Uh... Okay, that is not enough to kill the Suicune, which is a little bit unfortunate. But our next Thunderbolt should do it if, just, you know, it depends what this Metagross decides to do. Okay, it just uses Protect, that's cool. You can do that, for all I care. You will use Hydro Pump against uh, Espe, I hope Espe can take that attack. Oh, barely! Okay, that's good. That is still okay. Now that, <laughs> okay, this Swigun was on the field much longer than I was planning, but... It's still fine. So there are still three Pokemon left. Yeah, there was this Dragonite as well. Didn't honestly remember this Dragonite. But there's the Kingdra after this Dragonite as well, so... We're not in the clear. I don't remember what this Dragonite has, but probably Esper will go down this, at, uh, this turn. In the hindsight, if he doesn't... He can attack Metacross, but I will Ice Beam the Dragonite. Probably here. Get yeah, the extreme speed. Okay, let's just hope this Metacross doesn't use Earthquake. And let's hope it attacks Samehada and not incoming Flash. Might be better to use Flash earlier. Yeah, okay, I'm not, I, I can't win this with only Samehada. So I'll have to reset, probably. Because there is still the King Tra left. Wait, actually... Let's see, just a... Just a little bit. What if I just use Surf? Metagross use Protect, or I have Surf Ice Beam in that case. Oh yeah, this Dragonite has Thunder. Yeah, that was the strong attack that this thing had. And it always hits because of the rain as well. Uh, yes, so, so, okay, that's a reset then, okay. Okay, well, it's not what I was expecting, but I get the critical hit with the overheat, so I guess that's pretty much the same outcome as it would have been if Suikun missed its attack, so... 
I think this should still work out pretty much the same way as I was thinking earlier. Uh, yeah, because uh, now Espe will attack Dragonite with the Thunderbolt this turn, and I will get the Flash into hopefully finish off this Wikoon. Uh, so let's see first thing first what the Thunderbolt does. Oh, that's a crit. <laughs> okay, that's super lucky. Huh. I should kill the Swicoon off now. That's the most important thing. I would say. Ah, yes, that actually changes things because now. This is going differently because of that. Honestly. It might not be end of the world. Okay, because we couldn't just decided to attack Samehada anyway. That was still actually surprising lot of damage. And now it's actually a little bit different because it's Kingtra and Swicoon at the end here. Hmm. It is definitely different. I don't know if this is gonna work. Maybe we still need the miss from the Swicoon instead of the critical hit from the Nine Tails. Uh, Need to get them out probably one by one, if I even can. The yawn hit, so I don't know if this is gonna work. Let's say in and see what happens. It has that super power, super effective hidden power that does, does a lot of damage. <sighs> and I don't think this Thunderbolt kills unless it's another crit, but it's not. Yeah, I think I'll need to reset again. I still need that miss from that Hydro Bomb in the end. Okay, that's at least good to know, so let's just reset again. And Flash is down again. And get the Samehada out. And kill off the Metacross. Level 73, alright. I mean, why am I surprised about that? That happens every time. <laughs> I'm so stupid. Anyway. <clears throat> um, yeah, let's see what happens again if it's more yawn, actually. Oh man, but I'm gonna use his thunder. That might put the Samehara to them. I mean, that's probably a Draco Meteor range. But I'm not 100% sure. Depends on what this Kindred decides to do next turn. It can finish off the Samehara with the Draco Meteor, or it can try to use Yawn, or it can attack Espe. But actually, I mean, it's not over. It's not definitely over yet. Even if Samehara would go down, I think it attacks the Samehara. Because Espe can still two shot with the Thunderbolt, I think. Yeah, I think that will kill Samehara. Oh, what? Let's go. We live with... How the hell did we live that? How the... You know, when thinking about how much damage the other ones did. Wait, are we gonna get a kill with the Ice Beam here? Or is it gonna live with the Sliver? Finally. Let's go. Oh, man, this fight. Oh, man. We did it. Finally. That took a long time, but it's okay. It's absolutely fine by me. Oh, I commend you. Well, thanks for commending me. I actually commend myself as well. <laughs> and now he will waken up the Kyogre. Ooh. Story time. Man, that fight was crazy. Honestly. This is kind of crazy. Crazy right? This, this whole playthrough, you know, so far. It proves to me that I am not as good in Pokemon as I... I have been thinking that I am. For me, I thought I was better than this. But this has proved to me that I have still much to learn. And I can become so much better than I have now. But yeah, now there's just gonna be some story time about the Crydon and Kyogre. And they are gonna go fighting against themselves. And I think we actually have to probably go and wake up the Rayquaza next to make that make the records to stop the fighting yes you made a mistake you both made a mistake that's how it is 
<laughs> you finally see how disastrous your dream turned out to be. We have to hurry, we have to do something before the situation goes completely out of control. Don't say anything, I know that I have no right to be critical of Archie, but the way things are now, I doubt that we humans will be capable of doing anything about it. But neither can we stand by and just watch helplessly. There is going to be putting an end to this falls to Archie and me. This device believe those super ancient Pokemon, the power is unbelievable, blah blah blah. Can we just, you know, move on? I think the Steven arrives here next. Yeah. What is happening? This is terrible. After the sorting heat. Uh, if this doesn't stop, I know the whole world will drown. Okay. Suit the police might provide answers. It's okay. I don't know what you intend to do, but don't do anything reckless. Okay, I'm going to suit the police. Okay. You go there. And first thing I will do. I will try to get. Espe is actually in full HP. Okay, good. I will put Espe in front and I will try to get back to them. Where we came from, from the... Wait, what's that town called? I don't remember anymore. Let's see if we can get our way to the Sudopolis for this episode. Well, I'm not gonna, you know, be fighting all the trainers here for now. I'll just try to make my way to the Sudopolis first. Oh, it was already... Okay. Well, the Sudopolis was much closer than I remembered. Honestly. I'll try to, you know, get through with the story as quickly as possible. And once we have, like, dealt with the story stuff, we might have to grind a little bit, you know, before we go check the final gym out and... Uh, those wild trainers out there are probably gonna be some good experience. But yeah, these two are just, you know, having, like, a face-off. They're actually here in the Zootopolis. I didn't remember that they came here to have this fight-off of their... Uh, right. Alright. Okay, let them have their... Let them have the schism there. <laughs> Let's go find where the Steven is. Okay, he's actually right here. Those Pokemon fighting Groudon and Kyogre, those super ancient Pokemon were elegant from long sleep, and now they're smashing each other with their uncontrollable energy. It's okay, you being here now, I'll take to I'll take to mean that you're prepared to become involved in this crisis. I guess. Well then, there's someone that I'd like you to meet. Come with me, please. Yes, sir. Okay, here we are. Inside here we'll find someone named Wallace. Ah, yes, I think you have what's needed to help. Yeah, Wallace is like the league champion in this one. You know, Mega in, in uh, Ruby and Sapphire, I think he's the final team leader. But in this game, he's the league champion. Yes, here we have the Wallace chilling. Uh, there's gonna be something happen. I don't remember, do we have to fight Rayquaza or... What specifically happens? But I think we will summon the Rayquaza at least. Let's just see what happens here. So you are Isaac, I've heard tales of your exploits. My name is Wallace, I was one... Was the team leader of the police, but something came up. So now I've entrusted my mentor, Juan. Yes, with the team's operation, and you're the league champion, yeah. Grandon and Kyogre, the two Pokemon wrecking havoc here, are considered to be super ancient Pokemon. But there aren't just two super ancient Pokemon, there is one more somewhere. Somewhere there is super ancient Pokemon named Rayquaza. It said that it was Rayquaza that became the two combatants in the distant past. But even I have no clue as to Rayquaza's whereabouts. Uh-huh, okay. Isaka, like, do you perhaps know where Rayquaza is now? If you do, please tell me. I mean, Sky Pillar. I mean, we haven't been there, but, you know, I, I just know that it's there because I played this game. <laughs> That's it, it must be the Sky Pillar. There's not a moment to lose. We'll head to the Sky Pillar right away. Mm-hmm. Aha, uh -huh. okay, so he just left me here. <laughs> we'll have to probably leave the next part of our adventure the next time. Because it takes, it's again a little bit of trek from here to the Sky Pillar. Let's just see if anyone has anything to say here. Sky Pillar, I've never been there. I wonder what it could be. Okay, I know where it is, so maybe we're gonna go there next time. But anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. Now remember to leave a like if you enjoyed, and uh, if you have any thoughts, comment them below in the comments below. And as always, uh, remember to subscribe, of course, and I will see you with the future videos. But for now, it's bye bye.